Hello guys, um, welcome to this uh, very special uh, album review and um, this uh, early morning, it's uh, around um, I think 3am right now and uh, we're gonna talk about this very special album that I just got today and it's called uh, Speed Mill. It's entitled Speed Mill by OI Research Partners, okay? It's actually uh, made by it's made by Vic and Eva Laugo. They're very artistic people. They just came out with this album uh, just a month ago or so. I, and uh, I reserved myself a copy of this uh, record and uh, I finally have it. So, uh, what you hear in the background is actually their music, okay? And uh, here's a quick story of how I was able to get in touch with their music. So I remember uh, it was the beginning of this year, I guess. Um, Vic, who is a friend of mine who, and was actually uh, part of the band scene in the early 2010s. Uh, I was playing music then in Manila. He had this band called Dropouts before and then uh, I think he went solo and went by the name Baby Dancer. Anyway, a few years back he, say, uh, he, he was saying he was um, making some music and uh, I said I, w I wish him all the best. That's what I said and uh, uh, I've waited. I actually waited for him to come up with some music and uh, earlier this year I think uh, five months before he actually released this record online via YouTube and Spotify, he said like, "My, I was able to make some music." He was just saying in Tagalog, like, "Gumawa uh, ng record and uh, ng mga songs." Uh, I said, like, "Sure, sure." And he hooked me up with uh, an unlisted link via YouTube and uh, the first track uh, itself already hit me right in the spot. Uh, it's a 31 minute and 39 second uh, musical odyssey, right? Uh, and I, I was floored. I'm not even exaggerating. This record uh, is actually a modern masterpiece. And uh, it's, it's an instant cult classic. I'm not sure if uh, people are aware of this record, but I, I suggest you guys really get this record because this record will really blow your mind. I listened to it from start to finish. I remember it was like around 2 a.m. at time. Uh, maybe it was around April or May 2022. And uh, first track I was listening to Stage Warmer. And man, this record is insane. It's intense. It's a mixture of uh, home recording. It's a mixture of analog tapes and uh, digital recording by uh, Vic and his wife uh, Eva. Uh, very creative people. I think they gave their all for this record and uh, I really salute them. I can't get enough of this record. I keep raving about it, keep telling about it to my friends. I was listening to the record. I told Vic, uh, man, I'm not going to lie to you. You made a masterpiece, all right? Like, this is a modern classic. You, you really hit the right spots. Uh, it's a dream for any musician or uh, living artist to come up with such a record and I suggest that you guys get one. I think last month they were able to launch this record uh, on an art gallery. Included uh, in that launch were, was this actual box set of Speed Milk the musical and there were like artworks that were involved in this which were put in frames. There. They were displaying it in the gallery and uh, with that they were selling these records. So I was telling Vic, Vic, you, you gotta give me a copy of this record. So this one, Speed Milk, he, uh, Vic, personally uh, mailed this one via LBC. And uh, after two days, I was able to receive it. Been waiting for this record to have it on my hands. I already have uh, Speed Milk saved before, way back, uh, beginning of this year on my uh, YouTube and when it finally came out on Spotify I already had it on my playlist. You can see the the the, uh, the fonts are very vintage. Uh, it's, it's so idiosyncratic. Uh, it's a triangle in there which uh, it's kind of uh, intriguing and curious, interesting. Uh, 
it's got some um, landscape terrain over there in the background and some neon portal whatever in which uh, all of that milk drips down and it fills this cup and uh, it makes a reverse image of whatever's in here I don't know whatever it is um, all I know is that the entire record is supposed to be a concept album and uh, Vic was telling me is he has been influenced with so much vintage concept albums from the 70s and 60s personally when I listened to his record he reminded me of uh, some records that were being uh, uh, hyped by one of his YouTube channels he used to be called the uh, surf expect but now it's, it's called the uh, searching for sounds and you can find him on YouTube and he's got a lot of uh, weird, quirky Japanese and uh, uh, international records where they play these types of music. So, as you can hear in the background, you can hear all of that really weird, uh, funky, uh, punk rock, uh, psychedelic rock. It's just a mixture of sick like art rock right there. Let's check out the package itself, the packaging itself. Very homemade, homemade vibes. Uh, I like how it uh, has this little sticker that's like legit made by Vic and Eva. It's like OI Research Partners. Like, it's supposed to be a story about all these uh, researchers who found some artifacts somewhere. I don't know. There's like a story behind this. You guys can follow them on Instagram and on Facebook. It's OI Research Partners. I like the artwork and uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's a work of art. It's, it's very well packaged. Mm -hmm. The only way to open it is to break the seal. Sorry, Vic. I really like this stuff, but uh, I want to see what's inside of it. So I am slowly opening actual record. I really didn't want to do that. It's such a beautiful packaging. But there you go. There you go. So I'm going to keep it this way. Put it right here. Anyway, here's the record. Uh, it's uh, covered in uh, red cardboard, and now I'm gonna open it live for the first time. So here you go. One, two, three. Whoa! Wow, man. It's been a while since I had an actual experience of opening a record. It's been a while since uh, since I had a record that I actually enjoyed opening. Uh, this is a record that's an actual experience. I like how ah The feel of the paper. It's like wow, you're actually experiencing the record Firsthand like man check that out. It's got some sawdust. It's got this little booklet. It says speed milk Right, it's made by Vic and Eva so nice For any artist who is living this is one of, this is like a dream come true. This book is dedicated to her mothers. Now look at that. Check that out. It's got a little whoosh, psychedelic mirror image. I don't know. Intense artwork right there. Check that out, man. Speed now check out those artworks. They're like really linear, modern artwork made made by the couple oh man this is a gift just keeps on giving just it oh it's got a spread in the middle wow check that out and then when you open it like boom there you go while you're listening to that music it's like it's opening up an entire new world guys any indie a uh, record collector, you should check this record out. I mean, this one's so intense, man. It's like these guys are building. It's like a world-building record. Check out this cowboy. He's like drinking the milk up, and then he just went into the pail, and he got consumed by the milk. Oh man, it's like an explosion of uh, I don't know volcano and. I don't know, needles coming in the mount, I don't know. Ah, it's so surreal. And check that out, it's got little artworks in there. Reminds me of uh, the Aztecs or like some Arthur C. Clarke 
science fiction novel. And it's got a lot of this saloon cowboy stuff, like very macho stuff. And there's like a story here, like cowboys kicking and hitting each other. Got horseshoes in it, but there's like cows loving each other with uh, excrements. I don't know if that's it's like a rodeo stuff. It's like it's like a Gary Larson um, cartoon. Check out this cow having a portrait coming in, being drawn like the cowboys drawing portraits of these cows, and he's milking them with speed milk. Man, creative, creative stuff. Check that out. It's like uh, it's like time. It's about time, like. If you're running out of time and you gotta make most out of your time. And guys playing ping pong. It, it's just it's just so surreal. It's a doorknob and like it just melted because you tried putting in the key and the key went into this little portal and just went in and it melted into the stairs and more keys and stairs and cowboys like melting. Check that out. And the cowboy picked up a stone, he threw the stone, it cracked, and it just went to another crack. I just keep cracking and cracking and cracking. Lots of cracks. And it just opened up, just went back to the like one of the first illustrations right there. It's like this portal again of speed mill with a cowboy in it. And says here, uh, written and illustrated by Vic and Eva Lago. OI Research Partners, printed and published by Bad Student Press, Rizal, Philippines. First edition, 2022. This is a 20 of 100 copies. So I'm very blessed that I have the 20th copy, limited edition, physical copy of this record. And it's got stickers. It's like this. Uh, stickers of swings and slides and seesaws more and more stickers but this one is a gold mine like actual record in cassette tape and for those who lived in our era we were playing records via cassette tape and it's so well packaged man I'm gonna open it now it's really extra special I'm gonna keep this one. So here you go, there's the tape, cassette tape. Let's see the... This is the actual record. Side A, side B. And this is the inner sleeve of the tape. Magniflux frequency generator. These are the tracks. And it's got stage warmer. Mother rancher, smell my badge. Eyelash in the hay, punch in. This is side B, we like speed. Is it over? Downtime climax, the underside. And it's got an excavation site, magnified image of artifact. Image processing through Magniflux frequency generator. Recovered image. Check that out. The Magniflux frequency generator is one of the earliest developments. It is key to accessing the rare audio from the dimension of speed mill. I think it's talking about the cassette tape here, like the, the, the actual. Each recording is carefully restored to give a reflection of an advanced civilization adjacent to ours. That explains it. it says here, OI Research Partners is not a band, but a group of explorers who have access to frequency tapping devices with expertise on fantasy research and artifacts artifact development all words and music are produced by Vic and Eva Lago using the Magniflux frequency generator it's got Instagram handle it goes by instagram.com slash oi.researchpartners and there you go that is the artwork it's right here so yeah basically the record is uh it's an epic record 
It's got a lot of different sound samples, uh, actual instruments used, were used in this recording. But most especially, you could you feel the passion and the love uh, given by the couple to produce this album. And uh, it's just a worthwhile record to listen to. Uh, it may not be for everyone, but it's an experience. Uh, and I would recommend this record. Like, you guys should listen to it. It's, it's quite something, really. Speed Milk by OI Research Partners. And I highly recommend that you guys have a copy of this uh, record. All right? There you go. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, congrats to Vic and to uh, Eva for actually coming up with this record. And I wish you guys more success. And I hope uh, you guys would make more great records. All right, so uh, guys, that's about it. This is the review of uh, Speed Milk by OI Research Partners. And uh, I will see you soon guys all right so uh thanks and uh have a great day everyone all right